Were you, a, were you a Blake Sevens fan or was that before your time? I think it was slightly before my time, actually, although I can... I recognise the lady. I remember her being quite evil. A and bit of a role model, perhaps? Uh, possibly not. Possibly not. No, no, no. You can get them on tape now. You should have a look mm. at them. Now, I've got, oh, last time I saw you, you were on television. This was, uh, I think, last weekend. Was it last Saturday? You are on Going Live? Going Live. The fine television show for children. Wendy's <laughs> out, performing your heart out, doing the song. You go and sit down. First answer you give, you reveal you don't wear knickers. <laughs> Well, this question was actually posed to me before I gave that answer. Sarah Green actually asked whether my, my knickers are always the same colour as my clothes, to which I had to give an honest reply. Well, yeah, and what a very honest one it was. Now, <laughs> did, now, did there was any feedback with that? Were there complaints or were there letters of praise you know, and compliment or yes, something? Yes, well, yeah, I think a lot of... I, fi I think the children actually rather enjoyed it, but a few parents got... <laughs> I quite slightly... enjoyed it as well, I was sitting there. <laughs> quite... But, uh, yes, it, it came up in points of view. And what did they say? That I Dear Anne, I'm disgusted. Yeah, that I shouldn't be on television because of my obscene behaviour. But you see, how do they know? They don't know, they don't know that, uh, you know, Les Dawson might go out wearing no undergarments whatsoever. I know, and, and, unless you ask the question, you know. Yeah, I mean, no, just... no one's going to ask Les that, are they? So quite well, we're never going to find out. <laughs> but well, that's a far more worrying thought, wasn't it? That he'd be let loose running around the studio, flapping all over the place, whereas you're just there. <laughs> Let's have a look at the clip of your new video, shall all we, right. Wendy? <laughs> What's the name of this song? I just want to be with you. Hello. Uh, how long those sort of things take to make now? Uh, that was a two-day shoot, mm. although it shouldn't have been. It really should have only been 24 hours, but nice quickie. went on a little while. Now, now the, you're, you're often getting quoted. I don't know whether you're misquoted, but I'm always mm. reading things, and they do, they're often quite extreme statements, it seems to be. They tend you. to be exaggerated, you know? Flippant remarks tend to be blown up into huge headlines. Well, let me ask you about one. One I read in particular that said, and I think I've seen this twice, so whether or not it came from the same source, uh, that you said that you predicted you would definitely, no doubt about it, you would be winning an Oscar pretty soon, uh, and that there was just no question of doubt there. Now, did mm. you say that? Yes, I did say that, yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> um, one wasn't I did blown say up or exaggerated at all, then. That was how it came me, out. I said that with the aid of a few drinks of wine. Yeah. And also, I said it, it wasn't so much literally an Oscar. It was more like, if you want to do something, you must keep on striving for things, and the, especially in Britain, people, people tend to be so cynical, and it was mm. just making the point that I'm not going to go away and whatever happens, nobody can put me down because if, even if the whole world doesn't believe in me, I still believe in myself. But, so and were, I, you, I, were, I, you, uh, were you blind drunk at this stage or were you just tiddling? <laughs> no, just, I think just feeling in a quite a positive mood. And <laughs> were I you think standing that, on a table at the time or something? Or were you just, uh... <laughs> no, no, absolutely. I was just being positive and I think out of... Uh, when I was growing up, you know, with all the pop stars, they were always encouraging youngsters like me to stand mm. up for what I wanted to do, say what I wanted to say, behave like I wanted to behave. And there are very few role models, if you like, around yeah. now that are giving youngsters the courage. A positive, to just, a even if you're positive going right up the wrong avenue, even if you're way out of order, as long as you believe in yourself, that's the main lesson in life. Well, let, me, let, me, let me ask you something else. Since you have actually been approached for film work, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> so it just shows that when you get drunk and shoot your mouth off, often positive things... Good things, things can come from so, that. So, who, who's been talking to you about movies? There was only one guy, and that's uh, Ben X, who did Betty Blue. And I went over and saw him in Paris, and he was a bit of a head case, but nevertheless said that he wouldn't mind writing me into one of his new scripts. One now, of his... I should have, haven't you ever heard that line before, though? I bet people have come up to me before and said, well, Wendy, I'll actually, put you in movies. Yeah, that's actually how Nick got me into the band, with that line. So yeah. they, so, and now you're going to fall for it again? <laughs> Possibly. With a Frenchman, of all people. Yes. Um, you know, I was saying you're outspoken, and often you're talking about other people, you've spoken about other female stars. Mm. I know that. Do you know how they regard you? Do you know, for example, whether Madonna's aware of you and whether... Because there was a recent quote you saying that you were going to be even more famous than Madonna. No, what I said was, if I'm as controversial now, at this small level of fame, imagine what it's going to... Um, I and don't what know... what mind-altering substance do we have to blame for that quote, then? Is there a... <laughs> Just another drink. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if she's aware of me or not. I suppose if she's in touch with what's going on, on around the world, like most artists are, then maybe she is. But the, the females that I have met, then they've given me the due respect, and I, likewise, you yeah. know, the people like Chrissy Hind or Annie, these people that I admire, I'd hope they feel the same about me. 
the, uh, I don't know. Let me ask you about another, another thing here, which is uh, I've been dwelling on since I know I was going to interview this. Uh, recently, you, I mean, you, your video is always quite raunchy, mm. but they, and you were, I believe, offered money to pose in the nude for. Uh, was it Penthouse magazine? Yeah. Which you refused. Yeah. And I was surprised. The reason you gave for refusing wasn't that you didn't want to do that kind of... You just said they, they don't take good photographs there or something, or you didn't like that magazine. Yeah, was... well, I, act I actually find, obviously, being a female, the female form a wonderful thing to look at. Yeah. And when photograph... Here, here. Yes. <laughs> um, when photographed beautifully... Yeah. And when photographed beautifully or even drawn beautifully, it's a fantastic thing. Far more appealing, I think, than the male form, actually. Yeah. And we're back to Les but, Dawson again, of course, yeah. aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Penthouse, I find it's just there for possibly pure titillation. And so, so would you do... If there was a magazine that you didn't consider was just pure titillation, would you... Would you I mean, if there is such a thing, because a lot of people think that any kind of, of these, uh, these uh, magazines are all for, you know, just for keeping mm. men interested and, and giving them something mm. to read when they're on Well, everything's on geared own. towards sex, isn't <laughs> it? Um, <laughs> Do you have but, another um, clip of Wendy's video we can bung in there or something? <laughs> but if you were doing like, would, so would you consider doing that if the, if the money was right, if there was a magazine? Yeah, if I thought I was going to get something out of it, yeah, if it was going to please me, I'd never do anything that was simply th there to satisfy other people. If other people can enjoy it, fine, but it always has to be the bottom line that I'm enjoying it or else I'm, I'm feeling as though I got something out of that project. So we so, might well wind up seeing you on, on the cover of one of these fine publications. Possibly, then. but who knows? It's certainly not planned at the moment. It's always up in the air, isn't it? Although the new face issue is getting there. Are they really? You've done some pictures for that, have you? Yeah. Well, I should look forward to them. Yeah. Wendy, a pleasure coming on. Thank you. Nice to see you. And uh, nice to see you wearing the jeans for the occasion. <laughs> Wendy James, ladies and gentlemen.